700,000 soldiers defending Ukraine now, Zelensky says, as battles rage in the Donbas. Here's a summary of the article. By Euronews with AP, AFP. Some 700,000 Ukrainian soldiers are now actively participating in defending the country, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a televised interview on Saturday. In comparison, Russia deployed anywhere between 100,000 to 190,000 troops when it launched its invasion on 24 February, with the exact numbers of currently active units unclear. The Moscow forces continued their assault in the east after claiming victory in Mariupol on Friday as the last Ukrainian defenders holed up in Azov's Tull laid down their arms. Follow the day's developments in our live blog below and watch Euronews TV coverage in the video player above. This post received a score of 19,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Some 700,000 Ukrainian soldiers are now actively participating in defending the country, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a televised interview on Saturday. In comparison, Russia deployed anywhere between 100,000 to 190,000 troops when it launched its invasion on 24 February, with the exact numbers of currently active units unclear. I wonder how many of the 700k are foreign fighters. IIRC, the number is around 20 to 40k. Normally about 10% of the army is doing the heavy lifting. I imagine the foreign fighters are pulling a lot of weight. My understanding it was the opposite. Ukraine doesn't want its foreign legion wrecked to give Russia a propaganda win so they are not frontline. Also there is a hell of a lot you can do without being at the coalface. A fair bit of the foreign legion also left because they were either way in over their head or that the war really got to them because this isn't Afghanistan, it's way worse than that. Like Wally, the Canadian sniper that people just for some reason assumed was JTF2 even though he could never confirm it even if he was. He tapped out because of a mix of this war was too much for him and he felt Ukraine was wasting his ability. Like, the people remaining are probably doing stuff like training other soldiers, doing recon, helping translate things, logistics. Ah, uh, he already tapped out. Been looking for updates from him. Yeah, I just went to his website and Google translated his posts. Ukraine was also really bad at supplying him as well, their army was unprepared to deal with a foreign legion coming in. He provides his own translation, just click the menu and choose the language. That is an incredible number. Much higher than I would have guessed. I think a big part of this is Russian brutality biting them in the ass. With all of the crimes Russian soldiers have been committing there is a strong motivation to fight. If you risk getting executed or having them sexually assaulted anyway there is not reason not to fight. Yay. Indiscriminate shelling, executions, rape, etc is not going to make anyone want to surrender or even think of Russians as liberators. The history books will be telling of this monumental fuck-up, by Russia, for hundreds of years. Seriously, Russia probably could have done this better if they didn't try to take all of Ukraine at once and only went for Luhansk and Donetsk, and you know, didn't do any of the war crimes but actually helped integrate the people under the Russian flag. Then again, Russia's too poor for that shit, they needed that marble floor deep in Putin's nuclear bunker. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.